What's going on everybody? My name is Tomas and I'm doing a video today on how to get your internal CD DVD drive that you may have taken out of your MacBook or MacBook Pro um, and replaced it with a OWC data doubler and you have this CD or DVD drive in an external enclosure plugged in through your USB or however you have it. If you have this have done this you may have found that when you try to use a DVD in playback mode uh, you will get an error message similar to the one that's about to pop up on the screen just like that a valid DVD drive could not be found with the help of Dr. Mackenstein and my awesome internet search skills he has helped helped us figure out how to get your external DVD drive to work a link to his blog post will be in the description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and handle this problem. Um, this problem, I've done this quite a few times, so I thought I would make a video on it. Uh, every time Apple issues an incremental update, um, the DVD playback file within Mac OS X, or, or OS X, which I'm running on now, uh, resets itself. You may have to do this a couple of times, so it would behoove you to save and keep the hex editor that also a link will be in the description. You're going to want to get the latest version here, uh, version 1.1.3 and we can, with this, we can go ahead and edit the DVD playback file. So first, let's go ahead and go to a finder and we're going to go to a, a specific folder. Within this folder, I'll leave a link in the description of this video of the exact location of where this playback file is you're going to want to go up, to, make sure you're in Finder, go up to Go, and then go to Folder, and then this little pop-up, and you're, from here you can paste the path in there and just go ahead and hit Go. So from here, I've already created a default file. Um, it would behoove you, and I recommend, I highly recommend that you do do this. I'm going to go ahead and do it again, just so we can walk through this. In your folder A here, through this whole path, there will not, there won't be this. I created this myself, so I could keep the default DVD playback file in there in case you ever want to replace your DVD drive in your MacBook or MacBook Pro. This may be the case with you wanting to sell your MacBook or whatever the whatever the reason. To create a, before you click and drag this file, hold down Option and the little plus sign will show up, and go ahead and drag that to your desktop. From there. This is customized, but you can go ahead and hit right click and then do a new folder and then you'll have the default. I'm going to drag this back into here and replace it because it is the newer folder, a newer file. I, I'm sure there's no, no difference, but I'm just going to do that just for the heck of it. And to move the file without copying it, I would you hold down command, click and drag in with there. I don't want to keep both. I'm going to replace. So I'm going to go back into here. You cannot edit within this, within this folder. So now that we've created the default folder and placed the default file within there, you can name it original or whatever whatever floats your boat. Now from here, we're going to go ahead and edit this DVD playback file. Uh, the thing is, you cannot edit this file within this A folder. So you're going to have to click and drag this onto your desktop, which it copies because you have to have, you have to give specific um, permissions to to edit within this folder. So go ahead and drag this file out and a, a copy of the file will be here um, placed on your desktop. From here you're going to want to go ahead and open with other and you should have already went to the link of where you want to download that hex editor. Download this 0x ed. So I want to open this file with this. Excellent. So from, th from this point we're going to want to go up to edit and find and find again so from here you want to enter internal lowercase and we want to leave that check the wrap around um, you want to replace it with external capitalized um, go ahead and click replace all there should be four instances of where this is found and replaced and here we are four instances have been replaced. All right, so we can go ahead and close this tab and we want to save that file, the DVD playback. 
And that is done. We want to drag this back in here. We're going to have to authenticate it. We want to replace. Keep in mind that we already have the default file pushed, uh, put into the default folder that we created. So from here, let's go ahead and authenticate this. From this point, we don't have to reset or anything, uh, reboot. We should be able to go ahead and be able to play the DVD. Let's see if it worked. Ah, success. And from this point, you, you may uh, rip DVDs, and I've had no issues ripping DVDs or anything from the USB. It's not any slower, it's not any faster, it's, it's pretty much uh, the same as if you had the DVD within, inside your MacBook or MacBook Pro. That's it, everybody. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I, I hope you found this helpful. Look forward to more videos of this type, down to earth and easy to understand as possible, and if you liked it, then great. I'm not asking for subs subscribers or anything. I just, I'm just putting videos out there to help people. I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. That's it. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks.